close games against the likes of UVA. Geography helps, but it's a willingness to compete against those top teams that led them here. He knows it helps recruiting to play a top flight schedule, and he wants to play the best of the best so that he's ready for the A-10 tournament to hopefully win the A-2 and go to the NCAA tournament. Well, an auspicious start here for UMass, a false start on the opening faceoff, so Richmond will get their first crack at it. The minimum low high was more medium high. It was high heat six five. And these are the faceoffs UMass wants today, Nathan. The rugby scrum faceoffs, the three on three, and look at the intensity on the ground balls early in the game. Well, that's Tobin, and that's what he does. He's enlisting an officer school uh, for the Army in August, and that's the kind of mentality he brings. It took a third and a fourth effort from this Richmond D to eventually poke the ball away from him, but a chance here for a two for one. You know, it didn't want for the Minutemen. Jared Chinoy out of that great St. Thomas Aquinas athletics program down in Florida. Caleb Hammett going up against it. Those two are the primary Fogos, and UMass will win that first ball, and that's going to be a push, and UMass will take over, but Richmond remarkably consistent. They have outscored opponents by 19 in the first, second, and third quarters this year, and make it 21 now in the first so far. Both coaches told us the A2 and earn the automatic qualifier for the NCAA tournament. You don't want to leave your fate in the hands of the committee and, and based on the RPI and the, and the strength of schedule. The crowd now, that's the women's team over there on the far side. We will have their game coming up about 45 minutes after the end of this one. And if you can't get enough of the Hall of Famer Rich Donovan, you're going to love the fellow Hall of Famer Frank Garahan here for the second game. The first ever coach of UMass Women's Lacrosse will be joining us on the broadcast. She coached Chamati of Richmond before this game. And the thing he mentioned that stuck out to me the most, a tremendously experienced man, is another procedural call here against UMass on the faceoff. That'll put them at the limit. That's their second. But he mentioned the respect they have for Coach Canoa, the honor and integrity that UMass plays with. And he knew that his spiders would have to match that level of compete and you can't cheat a single possession. I learned from Dick Garber, Hall of Fame coach, and there's 50 alum here this weekend that I played with over my five-year career, four as a player, one as a coach, and with the reverence that they talk about, and that tradition and the importance of what happens at UMass Lacrosse, and it's so exemplified by the team and by Greg Canella, who has certainly embraced that and brought that forward, and that's why these games are so special. Young gets the assist this time. He dishes it off to Madonna and a quick double after the timeout to make it 4-1. This is excellent ball movement by Richmond. Find the next player. UMass slide package rotating. Richmond unselfish. It's arguably about the hockey assist, the pass that leads to the assist to the goal. But you can't leave. There's a little bit of a bump and a, a down low, so UMass could not slide across. But off six side high makes it 4-1. Big hit delivered there, but UMass will get possession off of that drive. They need a response here. That loose ball push leads to the possession, but we saw right ball. Both these teams with outstanding talent, well coached, easy face off win, leads to a fast break. Big save by Matt Noth. Goes down low. Face off goals are very disheartening, Nathan. When you win the draw and the face off guy goes down and scores, it takes some emotion. That ball is in the cross and in the back of the net in half a second. My first experience with the shot clock was coaching in the major lacrosse league. When usually with five seconds left, you might roll it in the corner, run your guys to the box and get back and play defense. But UMass using the full length of that 80-second shot clock to score. Looked, he shifted his head to Tobin for one second, and that enabled the step for Bregman to get in behind. And those are the minutia that... Richmond knows all too well they've played so many high-level attackers this year. I mean, they've played literally half of the Tawarden Award right. attacks, attackmen this year in their schedule. They know the danger of looking backwards. And now a chance for a three-for-one, right? Two straight goals for UMass, and you win the faceoff. As co-standing tradition uh, of, of both on and off the field, Nathan. Tr truly, Dick Garber and Greg Canella, educators. Ted Garber, Dick's son, the coach here for four years. Did an outstanding job as well. Hey, you want to talk about continuity? Look at the UMass men's lacrosse coaching tree. It's about three inches tall, <laughs> but the roots go deep. Yes, excellent point. A good win for UMass. 
off the faceoff, a chance to come back. Uh, and really tough <laughs> shot to stop. Well, it's interesting. I wonder if Vicky was almost banking on low to high. That was low to even lower. It. I, I think he, that might have trickled off the end of the, the head of the stick. And UMass will win and get a chance off the break. Hammett checked hard. He's got to get rid of it. And UMass will call a timeout. Garber, excuse me, Greg Canella is upset that, that the whistle didn't blow earlier. But Correct. And this is the... Good Greg is such an outstanding coach. <laughs> you, it's usual losing. You get two for half. So that timeout clearly <laughs> saves the possession. And the beauty of it is that, and also for Richmond, and he's he's not happy with the officiating. But now after this timeout, we're going to see the best versus the best. The six best defensive players for Richmond, the six best offensive players. Now to him, and he had seven shots, but was one of the few players who didn't pick up a goal in that game against St. Bonaventure will make it two on six shots in the first half today. And check Look out that hit. Line. That was Bregman, right, who delivered that shoulder. If you win the faceoff behind you, you have to turn and clear it. And in this situation, look at the Tobin 1 and Bregman 99 just exploding over the restraining line and <laughs> getting the big, the right-handed goalie. All of a sudden, everybody from UMass is an offensive threat. Bregman last year, 15 goals, four assists. He's got three in this quarter alone, now 20 on the season. He has surpassed his excellent season from last year. Richmond will. There will be a faceoff oh. if he can say he did not rule this a dead ball foul. But notice that to Caleb Hammett's right shoulder, Nathan, they're empty. Richmond only has, this is a three on two faceoff. So Hammett will try to get the ball out to the right side. And indeed he will. To get the draw, and he does. And great job off the ground ball. So now UMass will have the full. Uh, as it sets up the possibility of going to a question mark later on, because you know now that if he wants to go to the inside, you can set up a future outside opportunity as well if you can execute. Excellent point. And the win by Hammett does not result in a UMass offensive possession. The check ball goes out of bounds. So the Spiders now with an opportunity. Quick two-goal outburst to even the game. 25th of the year for Aiden O'Neill. Part of a really lethal triumvirate of attackmen for this Richmond team. Their team defense is outstanding. UMass going to put the pressure on Big U here, who's going to have to make a play, and the flag is going to come down. So a free possession here for the Richmond Spiders. You, ne you never want to foul in the offensive half of the field and the, 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 the flag came out we're assuming that this is going to be a slash the stick fake and shoulder fake when you come out at an offensive player you have to break down you can't come out and out of control because they'll dip dodge face dodge here again we see the long pole in transition Again, they get it off. A quick try and a goal. Dalton Young, first of the day. Give him four points now. Make it five. A goal now, four assists. And Young puts Richmond up by a pair. You see the transition, the long pole to long pole to Dalton Young. The unselfish pass, and he is money from that spot right there. And if you're Greg Kinella, I'm sure he's torn. Get two timeouts for half. Do you use one here? He or, will indeed. Or do you get the or the media timeout? Oh, this third quarter after UMass scored six goals in the second to take a two-goal lead into the break. It's four quick ones from the number 15 team in the country, showing their pedigree and their ability to score in bursts. I'm Nathan Strauss, Hall of Famer Rich Donovan here. And when we say Hall of Famer, we do mean he was indeed inducted into the U.S. Lacrosse. Hall of Fame, the Long Island Metro chapter, just a true student of the game and a teacher of the game as well. Thank you. Very it's kind of <laughs> you to say. Great being back here at Garber Field. A quick pop for Richmond. Here's four on three. Quickly in transition. Far side, and that is not what you want to do right out of the timeout. A quick win for the Spiders and a quick goal for Graham, this leading point getter on this Spiders team who now has his first points of the day and make it five straight for Richmond. You can adjust by playing a long pole down the line here and run to the hole, but this is a, a tough goal to give up again. And all of a sudden, Richmond's showing why they are a 
outstanding offensive team. And from that note, it's always the next play, the next shot, bounce back. Going up against a different Fogo this time, it's number 40, Tommy Stull. Excuse me, 44, Jason Strickland, who took that one. This year, Hammett's numbers are a little bit lower than they were last year, but an 8% difference, and that has made a difference in terms of the extra possessions that UMass has gotten. UMass has won several. Oh boy, Dalton Young, roll dodge from goal line extended, and this is becoming an onslaught. The, the, the amount of times UMass has won the initial draw and then not been able to gain possession has really hurt them, and Dalton Young, showing he's a really skilled player. He sort of baits it, drives, gets the slip, certainly done an excellent job here in the second half, shooting to net and shooting on cage. But there is no quit in a Greg Canella coach team. They'll play and compete for 60 minutes. But the, the make it, take it has really hurt them here in the third quarter. Richmond scoring and the ability to win the next race. This has happened to UMass in some of their early season losses, going back to that Brown game, kind of goalie play that you can get away with with the lead where you're, you can be a little bit more aggressive. It's a 50-50 call. You have to trust his judgment. Another win for the Spiders. But he got caught halfway. If you're going to go, you have to go a little earlier and you have to try to make a play while the ball's in flight, possibly check six while the ball's in the air. Bregman made him pay. From Young there, too. He got down out of the way of the shot, turtling. And now another must-win face-off. Every one is basically a must-win. And another false start on UMass. It's the third of the game. Dalton Young is showing himself. Uh, taking place in the first round, perhaps, of the A-10 tournament. It would feel like deja vu all over again. But UMass, with the spurt they had in the second, certainly knows what it takes to compete at this level and that's why no matter the result of this game there will be learning lessons for both teams i think for richmond first you can't let your guard down even when you are favored and for umass well you've got to kick up your momentum and you can't let the team back into this game in a game between the high quality of these two programs i would never have predicted umass scores six goals in the second quarter and richmond scores seven in the third this time false start going against the spiders yeah. And it results in a minute man goal. It's one of those goals we talked about earlier. It's not an extra man goal, but it functions. It's a byproduct of the extra man opportunity. Excellent point, Nathan. That and was your point to begin with, Rich. <laughs> we've had multiple face-off violations on both teams. Yeah, both and teams are at two large. for the half, right? Nathan, the next one, you know, the quick pick up and throw in. Janet Drummond, the women's coach here at UMass, does such a, a tremendous job with her program in a very challenging A-10. So for UMass, they can't play goal to goal here. They need to go on a run. Hammett beaten clean on that faceoff. Good job of competing all the way through, but it is indeed carried across, and Hammett will try and sub out if he can. And now he will. So all around skill set for Richmond offensively has resulted in this explosion in the second half of goal scoring. Well, Richmond came into today only giving up eight goals per game. UMass had seven at halftime, but they've only got two since then. Spiders up 9-2 in the second half alone. Oh, and good work by the away. pole to deflect that pass. That's going to be the first failed clear. Oh, they're going to get... Faceoffs 15-11 in favor of Richmond. And Hammett gets run into, sandwiched, and it comes loose in the UMass end. Note will have it. It forces UMass now to clear the ball, and the clock continues to move. The clock is UMass's enemy right now. Four-goal deficit under two. Trail from behind. And again, a great Canella coach team is never going to give up. They're playing the entire great ground ball by White Mack. He is a big time player as a long pole. White Mack needs to get off the field now unless he wants to stay. Richmond is aggressive. UMass with a chance to really make this interesting. I think Greg. Face off is huge. Sixth point of the day for Bregman. He gets the assist. Now a battle on the face off. Ground ball picked up by UMass. 
Can they do something with it? 50 seconds to 